Okay guys, so I got this uh, generator about uh, maybe a month ago and uh, the homeowner who I got it from told me, uh, I asked him uh, how old is the gas, right? How old is the generator? Just the basic questions, right? And uh, he said oh, it's about three years old, which, uh, which I think is about five probably. And then he said the gas is about uh, six months old. So, I tried to run it periodically to run it out of gas, but um, it would take quite a long time. So, so I was changing the oil today, and uh, when I dumped the oil out, I actually dumped the gas out too, into the container. And I could see that the gas was at least two years old or more, because it was dark like, like coffee, pretty much. Really dark gasoline. And I can even I can even tell by the smell right now that it was an old gas, but I couldn't really see inside the core. But when I dump it out today into the container here, into this uh, clear container, I can see that that was a pretty much pretty much coffee brown gas, and it was still running fine. But my concern is that once you have uh, this old gas in it. Um, it will actually leave residue and deposit on the carburetor, especially on those little chambers, and they will close, close in a little bit. So, and I don't want to open up the carburetor and, and clean it. Uh, it doesn't really need it because it's still running. But if I want to make it like a new carburetor, this is what I would do. This is just a little tip. Okay, right now. The gas is completely out. I run it out of the gas. I, I run it multiple times. I drain the gas from the carburetor completely. Then I actually unscrew the screw down here and I stuck this uh, tube inside and I spray spray the carb cleaner actually inside the gas, uh, inside the carburetor, I'm sorry, and then just let it come out again. But the problem is, for example, the pump and all the uh, other chambers in the cup where they, they will not get clean that way. So what I'm going to do right now to get them clean, I'm just going to open the tank and I'm going to spray this can into the tank. And again, the tank is completely empty right now, okay? I got about a half a can in, probably. There's still some left, but we'll see what's going to happen. Well, obviously, I refilled the oil. I forgot to mention that, but I did put new oil in there. And uh, so, let's see. Now it should start normally. I mean, after I turn on the start thing, right? And, and let it run a little bit. Maybe it's going to need the whole can, I don't know. But this way, it will get the cut finger into the palm and into the uh, hardware. Now shut it off and uh, let it sit for a couple of minutes so the car cleaner has the time to clean the guts pretty much of the carburetor and uh, the pump and even, even actually the, uh, uh, the gas tank. And I should have actually sprayed, I should have sprayed a little bit around, kind of like uh, on this, there's like a, a little sifter, just to clean it.
Yep, that was nice and clean before it was put yellow. I don't want to take it out because I don't want to get my hands uh, dirty from this thing. But again, just, uh, you know. Now let it work a little bit and then start it again, okay? Let's see if my stuff without a choke. So yes, uh, right now it's actually running on a car peener, okay? And the car peener, as it goes through all the components here, is actually cleaning the palm, the hoses, the carburetor, and uh, pretty much everything, even the engine, from the old gasoline that was there for, I don't know, two, three, maybe, maybe four, five years since, since he probably bought it because he said he never he never actually needs to use it, it was on his camper, but they always had a uh, hookup wherever they go. So uh, he didn't need to actually use it, but obviously that's why the gasoline is uh, sitting there since he bought it. Okay. So this is, this is the one way you can clean the generator, pretty much any generator, if you want. It doesn't have to be this one, but any generator or any machine, tractor or lawnmower or whatever, out of, uh, out of uh, the passes from the old uh, gasoline. Okay, and as we talk, as we talk here, the car cleaner is doing the job inside and dissolving, dissolving uh, the junk. And so we can start it up again. You can probably do it about three, four, five times like this. Just let it sit for a couple of minutes again. And you know, if you clean the carburetor before, how nicely this product, this uh, car cleaner, will actually clean the old junk and gum out of the carburetor. Even if you spray it, you can just see it dissolving. So you can imagine. You know, what is it doing right now inside the carburetor, inside the pump, inside the hoses, inside the gas tank. It's just dissolving the junk and then, I, I, again, I, I use about a half of this can probably, okay? So, you can just keep doing this starting up and, uh, and uh, let it sit, let it run for a minute and then, and then uh, shut it off and let it sit for a couple of minutes. You can do it three, four, five times and then I will just run it out completely and then when you're done with it just use the true fuel or any any gasoline I don't uh, remember the other type uh, right now but any gasoline with, without the um, ethanol okay it would probably do a good job so the true, true fuel is one of them Home Depot sells it um, I don't know, I don't know, there's, there's, a, there's a few different kinds, but I'm using the true fuel. So, again, it's been a couple of minutes, I don't really need a choke. Maybe it does.
I think this is going to be the last time I'm doing this uh, this uh, break, and then I'm just going to start it up, let, let it run out of the car cleaner, and then just refill the true fuel, and you know you can you can be sure that this is going to be uh, much better off than if you just leave it and refill the new gasoline. Okay, so I'm going to. Close the cover. Start it up again. So it actually takes some time to run it out of the car cleaner. About maybe 20, maybe 30 minutes. I'm not sure, but maybe 30 minutes. And uh, when I was so, so you don't have to use really half a can of the car, car cleaner. That's a little bit too much, but it doesn't hurt. Okay. And as you're running out, just switch between the high speed and the low speed. Maybe like. 5 minutes high speed, 5 minutes low speed so it will clear the low idle jets and the high uh, high speed jets also that way ok so right now it's just completely completely out that's what I thought but, uh, There's a little tiny bit left, it doesn't matter anything. So anyway, now what are you gonna do? You're gonna get this. This product. Since I'm not gonna be using it, I'm, I'm gonna store it, okay? I'm gonna put some of this gas in it. I know this is always a challenge for me. <laughs> so, let's see how good I'm going to be without putting anything. Yeah, obviously, I am spoiling the gas. Again, even more. Man, this is really frustrating. This is really frustrating. This, this notch. Yeah. This notch here is fucking fucked up. Okay. I'm sorry. It just makes me so cuckoo. Notch wasn't here, the gasoline would just stay inside that little dish here, and I can just wipe it off. With this notch, this nonsense, 
it just runs every round. Luckily, I didn't spell enough, so uh, you don't really run anywhere. But if you spell a little more, the gasoline will just run all over the generator. Just Now, since there is no thing in the fuel pump, I will have to put a few times to get it in again. with this true food but I would not do that I would always run it at least once in a six months once in a three months would be ideal once in a six months would be minimal okay cheers guys forgot it's always a good idea to put a date on it what oil did you use then to the synthetic and just a little reminder I use the true fuel gas so I don't have to worry about the gas and uh, I think now it's ready to go so I'm gonna shut it off and it's ready don't forget to shut this. Okay. Thank you. Until next time.